Hi, my name is Natalie and this is my second YouTube crafting tutorial. I want to say thank you to everybody that watched the first video, that liked it, that subscribed. It means so much to me. So I'm here again and today we're going to be making this spring welcome sign, wreath, wall hanging, whatever you'd like to call it. The majority <laughs> of the items that I used to make this I did purchase at the Dollar Tree along with a few items that I purchased at Walmart. I will be showing you in the video along with listing them in the description box below. I ask if you can please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and maybe I'll be back with a third. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Nat Creates Crafts. And again, I thank you so very much from the bottom of my heart. It means so much to me. So sit back and enjoy. The following items I purchased at the Dollar Tree to make my spring wall decor. A double pack of 8 inch wreath forms. Nautical rope in 13 feet, I used about 2. This galvanized welcome butterfly sign, I also used 2. One bunch of the greenery bouquet. Pink and green wired burlap ribbon. Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster, I got that at Walmart. Apple Barrel Territorial Beige and Black, I also picked that up at Walmart. Some paint brushes, my hot glue gun and some glue sticks, scissors, and my cutting pliers. We're going to start by unraveling the nautical rope. There are three strands in each bundle, but we're going to be using single strands for our project. Just make sure you unravel the bundle all together to prevent tangling. When you're all done, the strands should look like this. I'm going to take my strands and cut them in half and tape the edges to prevent fraying and also tangling when weaving it through the frame. You're going to take your first piece and you're going to glue it to the brace, leaving a little overhang in the center. Then you're going to secure it with a little bit of hot glue. Now it's time to form our pattern. You're going to take the nautical rope, you're going to thread it through the outer frame, then put it under, then thread it through the inner frame, and then loop it over. Thread it through the outer frame, then go under, thread it through the inner frame, then go over. That's pretty much the pattern, so you're going to repeat the pattern. Thread it through the outer, then go under, thread it through the inner, then go over. If you do the pattern right, it should look like this. You're going to continue to do the pattern until you get to the next brace. When you get there, you're going to glue the rope, making sure that you glue the longer loop to the brace. Now you're going to flip your wreath frame over and you're going to secure the end with some hot glue, cutting off the excess. Now you're going to take the second piece of the nautical rope and glue it to the back. You're then going to flip it forward and you're going to continue the pattern. So you get to that next brace and make sure to glue it where the longer loop happens. You're then going to flip it to the back, attach another piece and complete your frame using the same pattern. Flip your wreath then to the back, secure it with some hot glue, and then cut off your excess. When you're all done, your wreath should look like this. Remember you gotta make two. Now you're gonna take three strands of 30 inch pieces, attach it to your mat or wherever your work surface is, and then you're gonna form a braid. 
When you're all done, your bridge should look like this. Then I'm going to take some hot glue and I'm going to attach it to the ends so that your braid doesn't come apart. You're going to do it to both ends. Be careful not to burn your fingers. Now you're going to take one of your wreaths and you're going to be gluing your braid to the center of it. I use the center frame as a guide. I adhere the glue only to the jute and then I press the braid against it. Make sure you hold it flat. You're going to do it for the whole perimeter of your wreath and then you're just going to cut off the excess. Right about there. Now it's time to take apart the welcome sign. They come off fairly easy. You may need some pliers, but I didn't need it for mine. You're going to bend the frame back and it's going to take the little butterflies. You'll be able to take them apart. We're going to use the galvanized butterfly. I then took a few sprigs of my bouquet and formed a mini bouquet. We're going to take a little bit of hot glue and we're going to attach some of that jute right to the center. And then we're going to start wrapping it to form the bottom part of our bouquet. Add some hot glue as you're wrapping it around to keep it secure. You're going to want to cover all of the stem. I think we need a little bit of hot glue there. Then we're going to cut off the excess and secure the ends, you guessed it, with a little bit more hot glue. Now we're going to take some hot glue and put it in the center of our butterfly and attach the bouquet. Remember, we're going to make two. Now it's time to join our wreaths. I used about a 12 inch piece of the pink wired ribbon, flip the wreaths to the back, and we're going to attach it with some hot glue. Remember to leave a gap. And don't burn those fingers. You're going to then flip the wreaths to the front, and now it's time to attach our little butterflies. You're going to put a little bit of hot glue on the edges of the butterfly wings and then we're going to attach them to our wreaths. I did my top one facing the left and then I'm going to do the other butterfly facing the right. Aren't they cute? I just love them. Now we're going to do the bow for the top of our wreath. I used the pink 10 inch, the green about 13 inch, and of course some extra nautical rope. We're going to loop the ribbon and we're going to secure it with a little bit of hot glue, about an inch overhang. We're then going to flip the ribbons, put them one on top of the other, pinch them in the center, take a little bit of rope and loop it around three times forming our bow. We're then going to secure it in the back with a little bit of hot glue and then we're going to cut off the excess. Then we're going to glue our little bow to the top of our wreath in the center. Now we're going to take our welcome sign and we're going to paint it with the Waverly chalk paint in the plaster. I used about two coats making sure to let each coat dry. But this chalk paint covers rather well. And it dries pretty fast for those impatient crafters, including myself. <laughs> when you're all done, it should look like this. Now we're gonna take a little bit of that territorial beige and use our stippling brush, taking as much of the paint off as possible and just making some strokes across the front of the sign. You can use as much or as little as you'd like. I'm kind of liking how this is looking so far. When you're all done, it should look something like that. Then we're going to take the black and do the exact same thing, taking as much of the paint off as of, of our brush as we can. <laughs> and we're just going to dab it on the edges. 
I'm going to take the paint again and we're going to dab it along the letters just to give it a little bit more dimension. But you can use whatever colors you'd like. This is what it looks like when it's done. Now we're going to take, you guessed it, more of the nautical rope. I'm going to glue it to the back. And then we're going to wrap it around the hanging part of the welcome sign. You could put some hot glue in between, but I find if you hold your rope, it's not necessary. But it's totally up to you. I'm going to wrap it around the entire wire hanging frame, however you'd like to call it, <laughs> till you get to the end. And then you're going to secure that with some hot glue. And then cut off the excess. Now we're going to take two about eight inch pieces of that nautical rope and we're going to put a knot on one end and we're going to glue it to those little holes at the bottom of that welcome sign. You're going to do it for either side. Then we're going to take our wreath and we're going to attach the welcome sign to it, threading it through the top, selecting one of the holes so that it looks even. Now you could hang your sign as long or as short as you like, but just remember to add more rope if necessary. Now that I see that they're even, when I flip it to the back, I'm going to then tie a knot to secure it on either side. Then we're going to take the excess of the rope and we're going to loop it around and then glue it to the back to make it extra secure. I also think it looks pretty wrapped around like that. We're going to do that on both sides. I thought my project needed a little bit more greenery, so I pulled a couple of sprigs off of my bunch and then I glued it to the back of the bow, securing it where it was needed. I took a little bit more of that greenery and dressed my bottom wreath. Yeah, that looks much better. Then I took the little purple flowers and I just cut off the buds, about three of them, and then I glued it to the center just to pretty it up. You could use as much or as little greenery as you'd like, but I think this is just perfect for me. Now our project is all done. It's so pretty. I absolutely love my spring wall decor. Thanks again for joining me for my second YouTube tutorial. I had so much fun and I hope you enjoy making yours as well. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And I'm looking forward to seeing you the next time. Until then, take care.